Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about the sodium chloride equivalent method with simple formula. Adjustment of isotonicity is one of the important requirement when we are going to prepare the parental preparations as well as ophthalmic preparations. In order to adjust the tonicity which is isotonic with the body fluids, we have two important methods. One of the method is the sodium chloride equivalent method. And another method which is widely used is the cryoscopic method. Both of these methods are classified as class 1 methods in which we are going to add the sodium chloride externally in order to adjust the tonicity of the solution. So today in this video we will see the sodium chloride equivalent method. How we can calculate the amount of the sodium chloride that is required to be added in order to produce the isotonic solution. And we will also see a simple formula for this calculation. What is sodium chloride equivalent method? Suppose we have a drug solution like this. Within this solution the drug is present and the drug can present free of the osmotic pressure. Now we are going to compare this osmotic pressure with the sodium chloride and we are going to relate this osmotic pressure with the what are the amount of the sodium chloride which is going to produce the same osmotic pressure. So this value is called as sodium chloride equivalent. And once we know the sodium chloride equivalent value, we can easily calculate how much amount of the sodium chloride is required in order to produce the isotonic solution. So to understand this, let us start with one working example. Working example 1. How many grams of the sodium chloride is required to render 100 ml of 0.5% solution of a drug isotonic with the blood? The sodium chloride equivalent of the drug is 0.10. So first of all, let us see what is the data given. The concentration is given as 0.5%, volume is given as 100 ml and the sodium chloride equivalent E value is given as 0 0.10. So we have to calculate how much amount of the sodium chloride is required in order to produce the isotonic solution. Let us see the solution to this working example 1. In order to solve the problem, let us divide the solution into three steps. Step 1. What is step 1? Step 1 is the how much of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the solution. Because the volume of the solution may be either 50 ml, 100 ml, 200 ml. So in the step 1 we have to see how much amount of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the solution with the given volume. Step 2. Amount of the drug equivalent to sodium chloride. We have already seen that the solution is having the drug and the drug can represent some of the osmotic pressure which is uh, compared with the sodium chloride. So in the step 2 we have to calculate what is the amount of the drug which is already equivalent to the sodium chloride. Then step 3. So step 3 is the final step where we are going to calculate how much of the sodium chloride is still needed in order to produce the isotonicity. So with these steps let us see the solution for this working example 1. So step 1 that is how much of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the solution. So what is the isotonicity of the sodium chloride? We know that 0.9% of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the blood. So 0.9% means the 0.9 grams of the sodium chloride is required for the 100 ml. But what is the volume of the solution that is given? So volume of the solution in the given example is given as 100 ml. So there is no need to calculate since the volume of the solution is 100 ml. So whatever the amount of the sodium chloride required is the 0.9 grams. Now let us go with the step 2. So step 2 is the amount of the drug equivalent to sodium chloride. So this can be obtained from the sodium chloride equivalent value. The sodium chloride equivalent value for the given drug solution is given as 0.1. So what this indicates? This indicates that the 1 gram of the drug is equivalent to 0.1 grams of the sodium chloride. But what is the amount of the drug present in the solution? So we know that the amount of the drug in the solution is the 0.5% in 100 ml which is nothing but 0.5 into 100 by 100 which equals to 0.5 grams. So within the 100 ml we have 0.5 grams of the drug. But from the sodium chloride equivalent we know that 1 gram of the drug is equal to 0.1 grams of the sodium chloride. So then 0.5 grams of the drug will be equivalent to 0.1 into 0.5 grams of the sodium chloride which is nothing but 0 0.05 grams of the sodium chloride. So now within the solution the drug is present which is equivalent to 0 0.05 grams of the sodium chloride. So that is the step 2. Now the step 3. In the step 3 how much of the sodium chloride is still 
needed in order to produce the isotonic solution. So the amount of the sodium chloride required is equal to the step 1 minus step 2. In the step 1 we have seen what is the amount of the sodium chloride that is isotonic with the blood and in the step 2 we have seen that what is the equivalent amount of the sodium chloride which is represented by the drug. So when we subtract the step 1 minus step 2 we will get whatever the amount of the sodium chloride really required in order to produce the isotonicity. So in the step 1 we got the value as 0.9, in the step 2 it is the 0 0.05. So when we subtract this, 0.85 grams of the sodium chloride is required in order to produce the isotonicity. Let us take another example, working example 2. How many grams of the sodium chloride is required to add to 60 ml of 1% drug solution to make isotonic with I? The sodium chloride equivalent of the drug is 0.29. Again, if we see what is the data given here, the concentration is given as 1%, volume is given as 60 ml and the sodium chloride equivalent is given as 0.29. Then we have to calculate what is the amount of the sodium chloride required to maintain the isotonicity. So let us go with the step 1. So step 1 is the how much of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the solution. Again, for isotonicity, we know that 0.9% of sodium chloride, that is 0.9 grams of the sodium chloride is required for 100 ml. But here, what is the volume of the solution given? So the volume of the solution is given as 60 ml. It is not the 100 ml, it is 60 ml. So for 60 ml, how much amount of the sodium chloride is required? So for 100 ml, it is 0 0.9. Then for 60 ml, it is 0 0.9 into 60 by 100, which is nothing but 0.54 grams of the sodium chloride. So for 60 ml of the solution, we need only 0.54 grams of the sodium chloride. Now let us go with the step 2. Step 2 is the amount of the drug equivalent to sodium chloride. So the sodium chloride equivalent of the drug is given as 0.29 which indicates 1 gram of the drug is equivalent to 0.29 grams of the sodium chloride. But what is the amount of the drug present in the solution? The amount of the drug present in the solution is 1% in 60 ml that is 1 into 60 by 100 which is nothing but 0.6 grams. So within the solution the drug present is only 0.6 grams. Then we can calculate what is its sodium chloride equivalent. So 1 gram of the drug is equal to 0.29 grams of sodium chloride. Then 0.6 grams of the drug is equal to 0.29 into 0.6 grams of the sodium chloride. So when we solve this, we will get it as 0.174 grams of the sodium chloride. So drug within the solution is already representing 0.174 grams of the sodium chloride. Now step 3, how much of the sodium chloride is still needed? So the amount of the sodium chloride required is equal to step 1 minus step 2. In the step 1 we got it as 0.54, in the step 2 we got it as 0.174. So this is nothing but 0.54 minus 0.174. So on solving this we will get 0.366 grams, otherwise approximately 0.374. 37 grams. So 0 0.37 grams of the sodium chloride is required in order to maintain the isotonicity. So when the volume of the solution is not 100 ml, then the calculation is somewhat complex. In such situations, we can use a simple formula in order to calculate the amount of the sodium chloride required to maintain the isotonicity. Now let us see the simple formula. So the simple formula W is equal to 0.9 minus E into C multiplied with V by 100 where W is the weight of the sodium chloride required to be added and E is the sodium chloride equivalent of the drug, C is the concentration of the drug solution and V is the volume of the drug solution. So now let us apply the simple formula for the previous example. So the data given in the previous example is E is given as 0.29. C is given as 1% and volume is given as 60 ml. By substituting these values in this equation, W is equal to 0 0.9 minus 0 0.29 into 1 multiplied with 60 by 100. So which is nothing but, so 0 0.9 minus 0 0.29 is nothing but 0 0.61 multiplied by 60 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.6. So 0 0.61 into 0 0.6 which is nothing but 0 0.366 grams. We can see that we got the same value as we have in the previous example.
so by using this simple formula we can easily calculate what is the amount of the sodium chloride required in order to maintain the isotonicity let us go with the working example 3 how many grams of the sodium chloride is required to render 50 ml of 0.4 percent solution of a drug isotonic with the blood the sodium chloride equivalent of the drug is 0 0.20 again if we see the data given the concentration is given as 0.4 percent volume is given as 50 ml and sodium chloride equivalent is 0 0.20 then we have to calculate the amount of the sodium chloride required to be added in order to produce the isotonicity so let us calculate just by going with the three steps as well as with the simple formula step one how much of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the solution so again the isotonicity is 0.9 grams of the sodium chloride that means 0.9 grams is required for the 100 ml but here what is the volume of the solution that is given the volume of the solution is given as 50 ml so for uh, 100 ml it is 0.9 grams but for 50 ml it will be 0.9 into 50 by 100 which is nothing but 0.45 grams so totally we need 0.45 grams of the sodium chloride in order to maintain the isotonicity for the given solution step 2 amount of the drug equivalent to sodium chloride so here the sodium chloride equivalent e value is given as 0.2 that means 1 gram of the drug is equivalent to 0.2 grams of the sodium chloride but amount of the drug present in the solution is 0.4 percent in 50 ml so which is nothing but 0 0.4 into 50 by 100 so on solving we will get 0.2 grams of the drug is present in the solution since 1 gram of the drug is equal to 0.2 grams of the sodium chloride then 0.2 grams of the drug is equal to 0.20 into 0.2 grams of the sodium chloride so which is on solving we will get 0 0.04 grams of the sodium chloride so the drug is representing 0 0.04 grams of the sodium chloride now step 3 how much sodium chloride is still needed so the amount of the sodium chloride need required is equal to step 1 minus step 2 that means 0.45 minus 0 0.04 which is nothing but 0 0.41 grams so in this way we can calculate the amount of the sodium chloride required is the 0 0.41 grams now let us apply the simple formula so here what is the data given here the e value is given as 0 0.20 c is given as 0.4 percent and v is given as 50 ml so by substituting in this equation w is equal to 0 0.9 minus 0 0.2 into 0 0.4 multiplied with 50 by 100 so so this will give us 0 0.82 into 0 0.5 which on solving it gives 0 0.41 grams again we got the exact value so here the amount of the sodium chloride required is the 0 0.41 grams so by using this simple formula we can directly calculate what is the amount of the sodium chloride required in order to produce isotonicity for any type of data that is given so whether the volume of the solution is 100 ml 50 ml 60 ml or whatever may be just by substituting in this simple formula we can directly calculate the amount of the sodium chloride required so that's about the sodium chloride equivalent method if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends thank you for watching this video